Joe McClellan here from the Met Office Communications team. We've come to Grand Designs this year because we thought it was a great opportunity to meet the public and to, and to talk to them about the work we're doing on climate change and how they need to consider um, climate change and the changing weather patterns of the future in their building of their homes and their adaptation of their homes. Because we already committed to some climate change. So it's very important to think now what you can do, not only to reduce the, the effects of climate change, but also to adapt so it's, it's, we're better prepared in the future. You also get an opportunity to come and present the weather, a forecast for the 2050 and see what the actual difference in the temperature and, and um, rainfall is going to be. So it's good fun, come and have a go. There was a trusted market, they knew this wasn't going to be a fat that died out in 12 months' time. Hello, I'm Julia Slinger, Chief Scientist at the Met Office, and it's really good to be at Grand Designs today to see the possible solutions for the challenges of, that climate change will present to us in the next uh, decades. We know that our winters are going to get wetter and probably our summers will be much drier and certainly much, much hotter. And we're going to have to find ways to live more comfortably without using more energy. So all these new solutions to make our houses more efficient, uh, better ventilated, cooler in summer, are going to be really, really important for us as we face climate change. And the Met Office has a huge role to play here because it's only through our predictions of what we think will happen to our climate in the coming years that we can make the right decisions now for where to build houses, what sort of houses to build, and what we can do to our existing houses to make them more energy efficient, uh, warmer in winter, cooler in summer. So this is a great place for the Met Office to be, to be working with all those people who are finding these solutions. And so it's been a very exciting day to be here and to see all the possibilities.